but this time we turn it to silent. If you need to take a call, please step out into the hallway. Items one through six have been placed on the consent calendar and may be approved as a group. Action will be taken on all consent items in accordance with staff's recommendation by a single vote. Any item may be removed from the consent calendar by any planning commissioner, staff member, or audience member for separate consideration at this time. The findings of this planning commission are recommendations to the city council. The city council will make the final decision with the exception of the following items. Item 2, 16 PD 029, and item 3, 16 PD 031. The Rapid City Planning Commission's actions on these items are final unless any party appeals that decision to the Rapid City Council. All appeals must be submitted in writing to the Community Planning and Development Services Department by the close of business on the seventh full calendar day following action by the Planning Commission. Are there any items one through six that staff would like removed from the consent calendar? Any items one through six the Planning Commission would like removed? And any items one through six that any audience member would like removed? Move to approve consent calendar. Steve made the motion to approve the consent calendar items one through six in accordance with staff recommendations. Linda made the second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number seven. Amendment to conditional use permit to allow an on sale liquor establishment in conjunction with a theater. Uh, July of 2013, a major amendment to conditional use permit was approved by the Planning Commission to allow a theater uh, production company to be known as the Potter Family Theater to be located at um, 632 uh, St. Joseph Street. This is in the uh, Buell building downtown. Um, However, at that time, the major amendment to condition use permit was approved specifically for the opera, the facility, or the Potter Family Theater. Now, a new theater production facility is proposing to locate in the facility, and as such, they need to uh, update their condition use permit. Let me take you through some slides. So you can see the property is zoned uh, uh, Central Business District, located at the intersection of St. Joseph Street and 7th Street. Aerial view of the property. Um, the uh, future land use plan does show the property is appropriate for downtown development and it is located uh, between two principal arterial streets, St. Joseph Street and Main Street. So floor layout of the proposed facility, it's a little messy, but the important thing to note here is that they're not changing anything from what's there today. Um, the use will remain the same, they're just updating the, the user. Uh, some of the um, applicant submitted photographs of the property. Uh, here you can see the on sale liquor signs posted on uh, in the window. I'll look at St. Joseph Street to the east and St. Joseph Street to the west, the intersection of 7th and St. Joe. Uh, looking south on 7th Street and north on 7th Street. Uh, look across St. Joseph Street at the entire building. Uh, if you're aware, the theater was actually located in the basement of the building. Um, a look at the entrance to the theater there on the right um, at the, uh, uh, on St. Joseph Street and one more look at the building. Uh, as I noted before, this is just an update to the user for the facility. Um, stipulations of this new uh, update do not require that the, uh, the user be, or that it is not approval of the user specifically. It'll be uh, for anybody that wanted to use the facility. Um, with that, staff is recommending that this application be approved with the stipulations done in the staff report. Thank you. Any questions or comments for Robert? Linda made the motion to approve for the staff's recommendations. Karen seconded that motion. Any further discussion on the motion? Seeing none, I did. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Discussion items, staff items? We just want to thank you guys for um, being present today. It's been a little difficult trying to get quorum during the summer months, so thank you. It's greatly appreciated. It keeps our items going forward. Karen? 
Thank you. I did want to uh, make one comment. Uh, after the last uh, two meetings ago, no, it was the last meeting, I guess, um, where we had the sign for holiday gas station up on, by our development, I did appeal that to the city council uh, on behalf of the neighbors. And uh, between the time that I appealed it and the time that it went to city council, I visited with uh, Kyle Traylor locally and with um, David Edquist from Holiday Companies, and we did come to a compromise. And it was a very, very good um, discussion with both of us. They lowered the sign a little bit. They moved the sign to the other side of the property, and they changed some of the uh, LED things so there wouldn't be any scrolling, those kinds of things. So it was very good, and I, I have to compliment um, the people that I worked with and the staff, they, they uh, made it very pleasant. It's one of the best companies I've ever worked with as far as trying to compromise. And so I just wanted to mention that to everyone. Thank you, Karen. Yes. Any further discussion? Uh, Steve made the motion to adjourn. Jan seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. We are adjourned.